Hello everyone. I have an interference issue with my 12U case that I need to fix. There is an annoying tone that my analog modules picks up. At first I thought this was a crosstalk from my digital modules, but it turns out that it's present on the power supply pins. So I figured out that it's the mean well switching power supplies that are the source of this disturbance. A closer look at the datasheet of the power supply reveals that there is a ripple noise rating of 120 mV peak to peak. But with a switching frequency of 100 kHz, I thought this would be easy to filter out. Big mistake. So let's measure the ripple voltage on the supply rails. To do that we need to remove the standard crocodile clip ground leads. But instead use the ground spring that is supplied with a probe set. And we also need to turn off the probe attenuation. It is also important to put the oscilloscopes in AC mode. And you can also turn on the bandwidth limit. So this is what the disturbance looks like. So my choices are basically to replace the power supplies with an SMPS that is more suitable for audio. Or build a linear power supply. But I decided to try a third option, and that is to make a filter board to see if I can improve the existing power supply. The filter is a simple cascaded LC filter using toroid inductors and low ESR capacitors. I made two paths for the upper and lower part in my case. Since I only plan to build one, it would make sense to build it on a strip board. But I made a PCB anyway since it looks nicer and it didn't actually cost that much. Time to tear down the case and fix this. I need to move the power supplies a bit to make room for the filter board. So after sourcing the components, it's time to put it together. I also 3D printed a mounting plate to make it easier to attach the filter board to the back panel. Everything is in place, so it's time to connect the filter board and tidy up the wiring a little bit. And it's time for a smoke test. But what about the 1000 farad electrolytic capacitor that I mounted the wrong way earlier? I actually caught that one, so uh, I hope this thing will not explode in my face. Okay, the next step is to connect the bus boards, put the modules back in, and take it for a test drive. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.